race fans it's tuesday and that always means tuesday night call outs you're watching our right arm up racing with your dictator dictator jared Otell. it's time for the moonshiners run tournament to continue on exciting show for you tonight phil ecv west versus nathan louisiana josh aqua bits versus the champ the battle of the robs Ryan Barger versus Honeyballs, David Barger versus Red Nuggets, Gua versus Jason Jones, Daniel ECV Bass versus Vanilla Bean, and Travis Denton versus Phil Good. And tonight we're going to be showing you some of them prizes the winners are going to get in Popcorn's Chest. We got to shine unreveal. That's right. But before we get to them races, it's time to stand and rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. Let's kick them tires and light them fires and it's time to race. Street racing right here, right arm up racing style. Our first race has two fierce competitors and brothers of the Speedway. Billy ECV West right here on top of that root beer shine for the first place winner. And over here we got Nathan, Luis, Anna, and this El Camino. There's two bottles right there of root beer shine the winner will receive in Popcorn's chest at the end of the Moonshiners Tournament. There's much more shine to come, but first, 
We got this race to take care of right now. Nathan Lewis Anna versus Billy ECV West. Listen on up to the hoaxster. Start your engines, brothers. Hoaxster in the thing. Let's pull the damn string on this race right here. They're off. Big lead right there by Nathan Lewis Anna. Billy ECV West going to catch us. No. Straight fire off the gate right there. He is gone. I think Billy ECV West spun them tires. Nathan hits the side rail, but it doesn't even matter. He's straight fire gone and takes this race. Nope, he's dead all right. There's a way to kick off the night of racing and Tuesday night callouts. Moonshiners run edition. Nathan Luiana and that smooth 1988 flame smoke El Camino takes this race tonight. Straight fire in that car. 8.4 seconds. What a run. I welcome you with open arms. Is that so? I'll let you stay open. Let's move on to our next race, and we got a big treat for you. The return of the champ right here. First, we got Joshua Ike Biggs in this smooth white Cadillac. Elvis Presley dead on the toilet model. Over here, though, in the 1976 Chevrolet Caprice, the true sleeper car. Don't even ask what's under this hood. It's the champ, the return of the champ. Here we go, sitting on up to the hoaxster. Start your engines, brothers! Hoaxster in his thing, let's pull the damn string on the racing off right there. Big lead by Joshua Ikins, he's got it. The champ comes back from behind, I don't know who takes it. Oh, who takes no. it? The officials say the champ takes it. What a race come from behind win. Ike Biggs has got it, but hits a side rail, spins out. Here comes the champ from behind, takes this race. We are back, baby. We are fucking back. We are back. Yeah. Classic. We are back. That's we right. are back. What a race from the champ in the 1976 gold Chevrolet Caprice sitting on a top of a bottle of root beer shine right there. If I take a little sip and add a little water, I don't think anyone's going to notice. The champ wins this second race of the night. What do you say, Don? We're talking over the race. What an exciting race right there. Almost a photo finish and we're gonna move on right here to the Battle of the Robs. We got over here in this 1969 Dodge Charger, none other than Rob Gruez and the orange Dodge Charger. His competitor, we're doing the unreveal of his car right here. Rob Gomez and the 1967 Firebird Gold motor showing right here, 1967 Firebird. Opening it up, Todd for Rob Gomez. His rookie review drive. Tear it open now, nice and soft. Don't scratch that car. It looks smooth and fast, like that gold trim, gold motor shining in the nighttime lights. Let's send it on up to the hoaxster. Start your engines, brothers. They're off right here in this race. Big lead by Rod Perez. Bowie is the split and Gomez takes it. Help me, Allah! Ah! Help me, Tom Cruise! But how did he get down to his underwear that fast? What a rookie run right there in the race. Look at this XNGH right here. Take this race and blow him off the track. <laughs> What in the wide, wide world of sports is going on here? There's your results in right arm up racing. Satisfactory run, brother, and your rookie run right here in your 1967 Firebird. You win your first race in right arm up racing. Great things going to come in the future from this car. I used to drag here back in high school. That railroad crossing up there is exactly a quarter mile away from here. On green, I'm going for it.
It's time to slip and slide on down to the next race tonight on Tuesday night. Call out to Moonshiners Run Edition. You're along with Jared Hotel, the original dictator, dictator of right arm up racing, and the blue 69 Dodge Charger. Back to back Dodge Charger runs. We got Ryan Barger in the blue Charger. Over here in the smooth 1967 Chevrolet Camaro, we got none other than honey balls. We got the Charger versus the Camaro Hulkster. Start your engines, brothers! Pulling in this thing, let's pull the string on this race, and they're off right there. They're close to the first split. Who's gonna take it out? The honey balls hits the split, tries to take out Barger. He's gonna take this race. <laughs> Let's look at the action in the Jared Hotel instant replay and a lot like his humbug year. Honey Ball spins out. He's on his lid. Immobilized. Ryan Barger Rhino smooths on and gets through the carnage for this victory in Tuesday Night Call Out Moonshiners Run Edition. What an exciting night of races. Little bit of wrecks right there. Now, boys, let's clean it up and get back to clean racing. All them viewers out there, like there, out there like to see both cars finish. But right now, Ryan Barger takes his victory in this blue 69 Charger. Moving on to our next Tuesday night call out, Moonshiners Run Race. We have right here in this 1972 Ford Grand Torino Green, none other than Red Nuggets back at right arm up racing in that green Torino. His competitor over here in this Ferrari 538, we have none other than David Barger. Short bus in the black Ferrari green Torino, Euro Trash versus America Muscle. Start your engines, brothers! Pull the in his dang, let's pull the string on this race, they're off right there. Little lead by Ryan, here comes Red Nuggets. Close race, they're going down to the finish. What a race, what a race they run! Uh, he didn't slam you, he didn't bump you, he didn't nudge you. He rubbed you. And rubbing son is race. Oh yeah! What an exciting race, let's see what happens in the Jared Hotel. Instant replay, little lead by Short Bus, here comes Red Nuggets. Both taking the right split. Red Nuggets slipped over. He's getting pushed. Short bus. Short bus takes it. Short bus took it. Red Nuggets gave him the push. I am so excited. I couldn't even commentate that race. What an exciting race right there. But when the dust settles, Short bus and the Barger family go back to back tonight with them W's. Well, here we go, we're back to right arm up racing with Jared Hotel and it's time to bring Johnny back out. Everyone like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. So we're bringing Johnny back out to do the skit again. Come on out to Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. Do you know what these are, boys and girls? That's right. These are baby shoes. And you know what? <laughs> Mr. Rogers was once a baby a long, long time ago. And do you know how babies suddenly appear in the world where before there weren't any around? Well, I know, and I'll show you. <laughs> this is a mommy doll and a daddy doll. And they love each other very, very much. So what they do... <laughs> They get under the covers, and nine months later, Mommy Doll looks like this. So Daddy Doll takes Mommy Doll to the hospital. They go into the hospital, and the very next day, out comes Mommy Doll and her new baby doll. Then the Daddy Doll comes out to take them home. Whoops.
and looks like Daddy Doll has made a new friend, Miss Nurse Doll. And they'd better be careful because nine months later, Miss Nurse Doll might look like this. And then it's all over for Daddy. Because that's when Mommy Doll comes in and calls in Mr. Lawyer Doll. Who does to Daddy Doll what Daddy Doll did to Mommy Doll nine months earlier. What an exciting night of racing so far in Tuesday Night Call Out. You're along with Jared O'Tell. Let's move on to our next action pack race. Over here in the Chevy Impala NASCAR Edition 2010, we got none other than Darren Kloss and Goo Eye. Tap that keg. Tap that I, I mean, Darren Kloss and Goo Eye. Over here in the 1969 Ford White Torino, we have none other than Jason Jones. Jason Jones versus Guai, Ford versus Chevy. Let's send it on up to the Terminator Killer. For God and country, drivers, start your engine! Here we go, let's pull the string on this race right here. Who's gonna take it? White car, Ford, white car, Chevy. Big lead by Guai, he's gone. New track record. Guai just set the track record. 8.2 seconds by Guai in the Chevy Impala NASCAR edition. Check the hood on that car. He is gone. Here's your new Sugar Daisy Speed Complex record track holder right here. Guai at 8.2 seconds. Hell of a run there, Guai. Go and tap that keg, son. We're coming at you, darling. Are you ready? Ready, willing, and able, bandit. Heading willing. She always was. Let's move on to our next Tuesday night call out action pack race in the blue 70 Dodge Charger with a modified motor. We have none other than Vanilla Bean, ex humbug of Thule Berg 69, legendary Vanilla Bean. His competitor over here in the 1967 green Dodge Dart, Daniel ECV Bass. We got Dodge Dart versus Dodge Charger Hulkster. Start your engines, brothers. Holster in his bank, let's pull the damn string on this race right here. A little bit of smoke from the tires, a little off right there, a little delay by Vanilla Bean. Here comes Daniel ECB fast. Vanilla Bean takes it. Let's look at the action in the Jared Hotel. Instant replay. Vanilla Bean, big lead off the line. Daniel ECV fast, never catches him. Left split and spins out there all for good measure. At the end of that race, the results show Vanilla Bean as a winner and a bottle of that root beer shine on top, shining in the moonlight. Vanilla Bean takes that Tuesday night call out race. Shake and bake. <laughs> Come on, Lance, Lance shot it! Lance shot it! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> 
can't believe it. If it isn't my car, Joe himself, shake it back, buddy! Shake it! You throw your bacon! Let's move on to our next action pack Tuesday night call out race. So good to be back in historic Budville doing the Sugar Daisy Speed Complex Tuesday night call out. Jared Hotel, along with you now, let's get to our next race. Feel good right here in this 67 Firebird with that silver motor showing. And of course, we got none other than Oil Cannon. His historic car right here, the Nissan 300. Sitting on up to the holster. Start your engines, brothers! Hold your knitted thing, let's pull the string on this race. Close race, neck and neck. Oh, big bump. I feel good. Tried to take Travis out. Travis. No, he didn't slam you, he didn't bump you, he didn't nudge you. He rubbed you. And rubbing son is race. Big bump right there. Feel good. Tries to take Travis out there. Tries to take him out. Travis even goes faster after that hit. What a run right there by Oil Can. Feel good, tries to take him out. He just hits the gas, hits that next gear, and he's gone down the track. 8.3 seconds. Even after getting hit, almost touches the track record. There you have it right there in that hot red oh, Nissan yeah. Travis. What a night of racing. I'm, of course, Jared Hotel. This is Ride Arm Up Racing Tuesday Night Call Out Moonshiners Run Edition. We're going to be having a video release of those racers that have been eliminated. Stay tuned to see if you've been eliminated.